Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dear World English video with me, Dan. Okay, so today uh, is going to be a little bit of a different episode, okay? Uh, because this week we have a special day, okay? On Sunday, yeah, we have Easter, okay? Easter. Now, some of you might have heard of Easter before, yeah, maybe from school, or maybe you've been on holiday and you've seen this kind of holiday. I don't know. All right. Uh, but Easter, okay, it's a very important holiday in many countries. Okay. But what is it? What is Easter? Okay. Let's take a look. So, Easter then. What is Easter? Okay. Now, some of you might know a little bit about Easter. You might know the Easter bunny. Okay, you might think about eggs, you might think about, I don't know, baby sheep. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, but let me tell you a little bit about Easter. Okay, it happens once every year. Okay, one time every year. And it's always on a Sunday. Okay, it's always on a Sunday. So that is why we call it Easter Sunday. Okay, once per year, always on a Sunday. But, and I don't know why. Don't ask. But every year, it's a different Sunday. Okay? This year, it's quite late. Yeah? It's towards the end of April. All right? But some years, I don't know, maybe some years, it's at the end of March or the beginning of April. Okay? Um, now, I always remembered Easter Sunday when I was a kid for many reasons. But the biggest reason was because there was no school, yeah? In, uh, in many countries, um, I know for sure in the UK, um, there is about two weeks holiday from school, yeah, for Easter, okay? Um, and I was always very excited about this time. No school, woohoo, okay? So, it happens on a Sunday, but still, what is it? Okay, what is Easter? Well... I don't want to go into too many details, okay, but it's about religion, okay? We talked a little bit about this before. Some people believe in maybe uh, God, okay? Um, some people believe in something, okay? And we might call this a religion, right? Okay, now, uh, the religion for Easter is Christianity, okay? Not, uh, not too important, but let's move on a little bit quicker. Um, it's, it's a religious holiday. Um, basically, the story is, uh, you might have heard of Jesus, okay? Jesus was the son of God, okay? And uh, he died, okay? He died. Um, and then on Easter Sunday, he came back to life. Yeah, he came back to life. He was dead and then he wasn't. Huh? Yeah, it's a little bit confusing, huh? He died and then he came back to life. Okay, so Easter is all about celebrating this person, Jesus's, 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 um, Jesus coming back to life. Okay, and that's really what the holiday is about. Okay, but it's changed a little bit. Okay, the meaning about Easter, yes, it's about this person, he died, he came back to life. Um, but really, I feel like the meaning of Easter is about new life. Okay, because Easter is always in the spring. So in spring, okay, in spring, what do you see when you look outside? When you go outside, what do you see? Well, you're going to see lots of flowers opening, yeah, and the trees are becoming more beautiful and colourful. Yeah, I think in spring, if you look outside, everything is becoming more colourful. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. Yeah, the weather is getting warmer. Okay, people can stop wearing so many clothes. Okay, um, you might see lots of new animals. Okay, maybe new baby birds. All right. I said something about sheep earlier. Okay, um, now a sheep, a baby sheep, we call a lamb. Yeah, a lamb. Alright? Um, and if you are in the UK, or 
maybe any country with a lot of sheep, yeah, you're going to see in spring, you're going to see lots and lots and lots of baby sheep, yeah, lambs, yeah, you're gonna have lambs, lamb, lambs, lamb. Let me get back to you on that one. I don't know if it's lamb or lambs. All right, so we know that Easter is a holiday that happens on a Sunday every year. The date changes every year. Um, it is about religion, yeah, um, or about new life, okay? Because, you know, it's spring, new flowers, new trees, baby sheep, lamb, lambs, not sure. Um, okay, but what do people do? Okay, Easter is a holiday, people usually celebrate holidays, right? So how do people celebrate Easter? Well, it is a religious holiday. So if you are religious, you might go to church. Okay, you might go to church. All right, um, it's not something I do. Um, it's not something I have ever done. Okay, but some people do go to church. One thing that people do is they give yeah, they give and they receive chocolate. Chocolate. Now this, you might think, is a bit strange. Easter. Yeah, it's about religion. Uh, it's about new life. And you give people chocolate? Huh? Wait a second. We give chocolate eggs. Okay, chocolate eggs. Now, it's not an egg that has chocolate on it or in it, okay? It just looks like an egg. Yeah, something that looks like a big egg, but it's made from chocolate. Okay, now why eggs? Well, because eggs, again, it means something about new life, yeah? An egg is going to have a baby chicken, right? Or a baby duck or a baby something, okay? Um, so we give chocolate eggs. And when I was a little boy, oh, I used to get lots of chocolate eggs. Yeah, from my grandparents, from my parents, maybe from my uncles and my aunts, okay? Maybe at school the teachers would give you something. Okay, so it was a good time of year to eat a lot of chocolate, yeah? So, school holiday and chocolate? It sounds like a pretty good holiday, right? It was. Okay, so we give and we receive chocolate eggs, okay? But it didn't always start as chocolate eggs, yeah? Some people used to, and some people still do, decorate eggs. Yeah, this word, decorate, to make it look beautiful. Okay, so they would take an egg, like a chicken egg, okay, and paint, yeah? Some beautiful colors and some pictures and some shapes. Okay, and then they would give this as a gift. Again, an egg, because an egg means new life, right? Okay, we might have an egg hunt, yeah, an egg hunt. Now, a hunt means to find something, yeah, to go looking for something. Okay, and many kindergartens and many schools and many neighborhoods and communities, they might have an egg hunt. Okay, in America, usually the president, yeah, the president of uh, the United States will have an egg hunt, okay, in the White House. All right, and they will invite children and uh, families to come, and the children will go around um, outside and they will look for eggs, yeah. Sometimes they are chocolate eggs, sometimes they are decorated eggs, sometimes it's just candy, okay? But they'll go and find these things, okay? And then whoever has the most, yay, yeah, you're the winner, okay? Maybe you will get a prize or maybe you can just eat all of these eggs that you want, okay? That would be an egg hunt. Mm, okay, good. One more thing, we would have a Sunday lunch. Now, you might be thinking, well, you have lunch every day. Why just Sunday? Huh? Okay, now maybe this is just for England or maybe for the UK. Okay, maybe not other countries. But I always remember we would have a Sunday lunch. Now, usually we eat our big meal for dinner at the end of the day, right? Okay, but on Easter Sunday, we might have a bigger meal for lunch. Okay, and it would usually be some kind of meat. 
and potatoes and vegetables and you know some things like this. All right, and you might have it with family, lots of family, or you might not. Okay, it depends on you, depends on your family. All right, but usually this is how we celebrate Easter. Okay, just like many holidays, yeah, like Christmas, okay, like Halloween, it's really about kids. Yeah, kids do the egg hunt. I mean. I'm not going to do an egg hunt at my age. Could you imagine me on the floor looking for eggs? No. Uh, do I decorate eggs? No, I spend my time working and making videos for you. Yeah? Um, Sunday lunch, yes, I would do this. Okay, I would do this. Uh, but Easter is kind of a, a fun holiday, really, for, for children. Okay? And it's a nice holiday, yeah? New life, spring, it's a happy time of year. Okay, so why not? Okay, last bit then. What I want to talk about a little bit now is the symbols of Easter. Okay, so the pictures or the things that we think about when we think of Easter. Yeah, for Christmas we have uh, Santa Claus. Yeah, big fat man with a white beard and the red coat. Yeah, he is a symbol of Christmas. Okay, Halloween might be ghosts and witches and pumpkins, yeah? But for Easter, what do we have? Well, we have the Easter, Easter bunny, yeah, Easter bunny, okay? What is a bunny? Well, bunny means bunny rabbit, yeah, it's a rabbit, okay? Sometimes when we think of Easter, we think of the Easter bunny as a rabbit, okay? And when your children... You are told, just like Santa, just like Santa, you are told if you are good, the Easter Bunny will come to your house and give you some chocolate eggs. Yeah? Um, the Easter Bunny, yes, would bring you chocolate eggs. And as a kid, as a child, you think, yay, the Easter Bunny is coming. Okay? Um, again, a rabbit. Yeah? Rabbits in spring. Lots of new babies. Right? I think an Easter chicken would be strange, or an Easter sheep, or an Easter lamb would be very strange, but bunnies are quite cute, yeah? Little bunny rabbits, quite cute, hopping around, yeah? Okay, so this is one symbol of Easter, and it's very important, okay? And another one, I would say, would be eggs, yeah, eggs. Again, new life, chickens, ducks, they make eggs, there's a baby inside, okay? We give chocolate eggs, we paint eggs, we try to find eggs, okay, it's all about eggs, okay, for, for Easter. And I think these probably are the two biggest symbols, okay, of Easter. All right, I hope you've learned a little bit about Easter today. Maybe you can tell your parents and say, oh, this weekend is Easter, um, you need to buy me uh, some chocolate eggs. Okay, you can try. I don't know if they will say yes, but you can try, you can try. All right, I won't be getting any chocolate eggs this year. <laughs> Dee, can I get a chocolate egg for Easter? Oh, no. Oh, that's a no for me. <laughs> I wish I could, but no, I'm too old to eat chocolate eggs now. All right, uh, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something about Easter today. Watch out for next week. Maybe we'll do some more alternative phrases, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.